Hi, this is Mike Parnell. I just wanted to share with you for a few minutes about what a basic rigger signal person needs to do. We have different categories in our industry that, of folks that rig loads that start from all the uh, basic and elementary uh, levels to journeyman, master rigger, and even lift director. Well, the basic rigger signal person, their job tasks are to help provide a rigging uh, attachments to the load, uh, provide uh, assistance to the journeyman rigger and the master rigger as they're doing their work. They need to know how to hitch slings to loads, whether it's vertical, choke or basket, or in multiple legs, two, three or four legs. They need to know the definitions, what's a shackle, what's a hook, what's a turnbuckle. They also need to understand how to tie knots and manage a tag line to manipulate the load, either to rotate it or to stop it from rotating. A big job for the basic rigger and signal person is to understand how to inspect the rigging. Make sure that the rigging is in good shape before it's being put on the load and then when the lift is done to, to, to return the rigging back to the rack. They need to understand wire rope sling inspection, chain sling, synthetic flat web slings, synthetic round slings, rope slings if metal mesh slings, shackles, master links, turnbuckles hoist rings, all the other hardware components, even understand a little bit about spreader bars and lifting beams. So they need to go through a training course to get schooled up on identifying the damage and making sure when they can recognize the damage and let somebody know, hey, I don't think this needs to be used or can be used right now. It looks like it's uh, out of service. And then that qualified person would step in and make that final decision. But that's part of the rigging, basic rigger's responsibility. They really don't need to know uh, uh, a lot more beyond uh, being able to put slings to the loads after they've been well inspected and then taking them off and serving at the, uh, uh, at the team for the, uh, as a member of the team and producing the work, getting the work done and getting it, getting it uh, prepared for lift and moved in place. They're always under the oversight of a journeyman rigger. They'll understand blocking and cribbing of loads to make sure the load's stable and the slings can easily come out from underneath them. And how to protect the slings while they're being rigged with chafing gear, wear pads, and abrasion, or in cut-proof cut sling protection. So the basic rigger is really doing those things. It, at that level, he's not required or asked to provide any calculations. Uh, he's, he's there to do the job uh, based on the assignment. The other part of his job is signaling or flagging. He needs to learn learn the signals uh, adopted in the U.S. For, for the United States work, all the hand signals that are appropriate to tower crane use, mobile crane and overhead cranes. He also needs to understand the voice commands and the continuous voice commands that he might have to use on a radio with a, with a crane operator. If he gets on the radio and says hoist, Hoist 60 feet, 40 feet, 30 feet, 20 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet, hoist stop. He needs to learn that there's a continuous communication required so that if there's any kind of breakdown in communication, the operator's going to stop and cease, cease operations until they get it figured out. So learning that is really critical because he's going to have to be have a written test and a practical for signaling in the United States, especially uh, as, as the evolution of crane uh, and construction operations evolve in 2010, 2011, 2012, practical and examined signal persons are required in the United States for construction activities. He won't really carry the title of a qualified rigger. That's really the next level uh, up, and that's not his task at this point. But he's able to put the rigging to the load with it being expected, take it off, and signal the crane and make things happen. Well, that kind of identifies the task and responsibilities for a basic rigger signal person, and hopefully we'll be able to share with you downstream the other levels and some of their tasks as well. You guys have a good day. We'll talk to you soon.